Another well-known Purdue alumna and astronaut, Janice Voss, lost her battle with breast cancer Monday. News Channel 18's Jesse Hewile says her legacy to Purdue will continue to live on. Jesse. Yeah, Janice Voss donated dozens of memorabilia to Purdue a few years ago, but her heart is what those who know her well remember the most. And I really feel like Janice Voss was the Amelia Earhart of our time. A bold statement about a bold woman. Janice Voss passed away Monday in Arizona after losing her battle with breast cancer at the age of 55. Norberg says it took hard work and perseverance to win the battle to become an astronaut. Uh, she didn't get accepted to the astronaut program on her first try. She actually uh, tried, applied four times. And eventually she, she not only succeeded, she excelled. Having five flights is remarkable. In those five flights, Voss traveled 18.8 .8 million miles in 779 Earth orbits. Her first flight was in 1993 on board the STS-57. Her last on board the shuttle Endeavour in 2000. But Norberg says what made Voss so special was her kind heart and dedication to inspiring young generations. It's a great loss for the U.S. space program. It's a great loss for Purdue. She was a wonderful friend of Purdue. She came back often to campus. She loved visiting with students and talking to students and inspiring students to be all they can be and to reach for their dreams. Here at the Purdue University Archive and Special Collections Research Center, Janice Voss and her family have donated numerous items to ensure that her legacy will always be remembered. From an elementary school class picture to a Purdue pennant that she flew up to space, these are items she donated to remind future generations to never give up and keep fighting for what they want most. In an interview almost 12 years ago with News Channel 18, Voss talked about that commitment in inspiring a younger generation to reach for the stars. I'm waiting for the day when one of these will grow up, become an astronaut, and come find me when I'm 80 years old, retired, and say, I heard you speak when I was in sixth grade, and that encouraged me to pursue math and science and to be the best that I can be. And that's certainly a message that inspired countless numbers of children through the, throughout the years. And with the donation of memorabilia, her message can carry on. Jesse Hawila, News Channel 18.